Hello students, in today's class we will be studying about the cell wall and cell wall is a main component in plants. What is cell wall? Cell wall is actually it is the outer covering of the plant cells and it has got three very important components namely middle lamella, primary cell wall and secondary cell wall. Middle lamella is situated between intercellular matrix located between the adjacent cells. So if you consider these as the two cells, middle lamella is present between these two cells and it is made up of different types of pectins, proteins or lignins. So these are all the chemical constituents which are found in the middle lamella. When we study about the primary cell wall, it is the true cell wall which is found in the plants and it is lies inner to the middle lamella and it is permeable to water and solutes made up of cellulose, lignin, suberin. Whereas secondary cell wall which is next to the primary cell wall is found in mature cells and it lies inner to the primary cell wall and close to plasma membrane. Plasma membrane is the outermost layer of the protoplasm which is found in the all type of cells and it is made up of cellulose fibrils and interfibrillar matrix. When we analyze the chemical categories found in the cell wall, we can observe different kind of chemicals and among them carbohydrates. There are different types of carbohydrates are seen in the plants and their cellulose is seen which is made up of glucose, hemicellulose is seen which is made up of xylose and arabinose, pectic acid is seen which is made up of galactronic acids and pectin again galactronic acid. The difference between pectic acid and pectin is the units of galactronic acids. Here somewhere 100 units of galactronic acids will be repeating. Uh, and in pectins it will be up to 200 units of the galactronic acids and in lignins we can see a special type of lignins which are called as monolignols. So this is about the different types of carbohydrates which are seen in the cell wall. Then when we analyze further, we can also observe the presence of proteins inside the cell wall and these proteins can, uh, can be considered as glycoproteins and extensins. And in glycoproteins, basically it is made up of proline and lysine amino acids hydroxyproline also seen here and extensin is made up of tyrosine that is the amino acid which we can observe in the extensin. And when it comes to the lipid profile of cell wall usually we can see cell walls which are made up of cutin, waxes and suberin. Out of cutin, out of these three components the suberin is a pure chemical as such and whereas cutin and waxes are the mixtures of different components and in wax with cutin we can observe palmitic, oleic and stearic acids whereas in waxes we can observe aliphatics, triterpenoids and phenolic lipids. When it comes to the enzymes we can see different kind of enzymes which are helpful in the especially in the degradation of different kind of uh, substances so peroxidases pectinases cellulases expansins are the enzymes which we can observe in the cell wall and 
apart from that we can also observe minerals which are silica calcium oxalate and calcium carbonate that's why when we whenever we touch the grasses or uh, whenever uh, the pteridophytes like uh, equisetum and all we can uh, experience the presence of this hard stuffed materials within them beside all these things cell wall is 70 to 80 percent it is made up of water so water minerals enzymes lipids proteins and carbohydrates are the major chemical compounds which are seen in the cell walls and different kind of plant materials during the analysis we can observe different types of thickenings within them and the young plants will show usually annular thickenings where the lignin deposition is annular in the xylary elements and after that we can also see spiral arrangements maybe uh, quite old stems and we can also see the reticulate that means network like arrangements scalary form that is a ladder like arrangement of the thickenings and pitted arrangements where we can see and pitted arrangements are closely uh, closely associated with the hardwood so it, it, it gives the uh, indication of that cell wall is the secondary depositions are becoming more and more and that cell is becoming mature or no more growth or it is becoming death it is um, moving towards the death phase that is the how we can guide it so ultimately we will be studying about the functions of the cell wall majorly cell wall gives a definite shape for the cell and after that it also gives mechanical support which is and rigidity which is required for the cell and in the root cells it helps to it helps in absorption and also imbibition in the soils and it also helps in the protoplasm for overcoming the excess tugger pressure tugger pressure is a pressure which is created due to the uh, osmotic uh, incoming of endosmosis of the water as a endosmosis which occurs inside the cell the protoplasm starts swelling or inflating but to have a limit for that the wall that is cell wall will exert equal but opposite pressure so with this the plant can overcome the excess tug of pressure and also it helps to maintain the shape and rigidity of the cell hope this particular uh, lecture was useful to you thank you for listening